Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Sometimes you need to go out to the place that you love and do the things that make you happy. For me, that's riding rides, eating food, and making videos. So we're gonna go about the Magic Kingdom and do some of my favorite things and have a wonderful day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is December 8th. Christmas is just around the corner and also my birthday and I really just wanted to come out and have a Magic Kingdom kind of day. The crowds are a little bit high, but that's to be expected, especially during the holiday season. Like I said, we're going to ride some rides and we're going to do some of the things that I love to do when we come to the Magic Kingdom. I'm going to buy the Genie Plus service so we can get as much done as possible. And we're actually going to go through how that works and check the wait times for the holiday season and just have a me day. As you can see, the crowds are super, super busy today. And it's so busy that they actually started performing like the marching band in front of Cinderella Castle. So they're not marching down Main Street USA because whenever they do a cavalcade or a band, it actually has to disperse all of the guests that are on the Main Street. So now they're up there on the castle. We're gonna go take a closer look. Awesome to see the marching band up on the Cinderella Castle stage and they were doing so good they were asking people to sing along and it was all Christmas music and like I said I don't know if that's the reason that they're up there but it makes sense to me you know what I mean especially during the crowded holiday season it is 11.59, about to be 12 o'clock, and like I said, I bought the Genie Plus service, and the first thing that I was actually able to book for my Lightning Lane selections was Big Thunder Mountain from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., and I think that's really awesome. So we're gonna be able to ride Big Thunder Mountain in an hour. In the meantime, I think we're gonna go around and uh, see what we can do as like a standby. I hope you guys like my new shirt. It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. It's a Roosevelt too, and you know I love my Roosevelts, but do you guys know what movie I'm talking about? Can you tell what movie it is just by all of the different pictures? Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. As we're making our way over to Frontierland, Santa Claus is out meeting guests for regular day guests, not just the after hours event. Every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. you can find him here at the Magic Kingdom. And it's a photo pass photographer when you don't need to wear a mask because it's outside. So this is one of the best photo pass uh, character meet and greets that you can get until the holiday season's over. That is really awesome that Santa Claus is out meeting and greeting during the day because like I said, if you want to get your pictures with Santa in Disney, you have to come here or Epcot or Disney Springs. But Disney Springs, it's indoors and you have to wear a mask. And I kind of like the way that they have the photo pass set up over there. It's very, very pretty. I think a fun little thing to do today is maybe try to ride all of the mountains. Like we already have uh, a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain. So I wonder if we can get uh, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, and technically Seven Doors Mine Train done in one day. I think it'd be a fun little challenge. On a busy day, it's not the best idea to try to do the Mountain Challenge here at the Magic Kingdom. So we'll take a look at the wait times right now. Space Mountain is 45 minutes. Big Thunder Mountain is 45 minutes, Splash Mountain is 55 minutes, and uh, Seven Dwarves is 90 minutes. So we're gonna try to do it. If we fail, we fail, but I'm sure we're gonna have fun doing it. Since we already have a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, we're gonna actually go over to Splash Mountain because I don't think I can get a lightning lane after that. So I don't know, it might be a little difficult, but we're gonna actually head over there now, and it's a 45 minute from this point for Big Thunder Mountain. I can't wait to see what Splash Mountain's like. Maybe in the hopes that once we get in line for Splash Mountain and ride that, by the time we get off, it'll be time for the lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain, so we can basically just go bang bang. You know, very easy peasy. That's the plan, hopefully. As I'm waiting, I actually checked and I can buy a uh, lightning lane for Space Mountain for $7. So I think I'm gonna buy one right now for two ten. So we can kind of stack them and it's gonna be perfect. I think we're gonna make good timing. So I'm gonna buy it, seven bucks. Well, that went quicker than I thought. I think we're gonna be able to do all of the mountains in just a couple hours and I'm in the back row. 
The cannons are off over here too today. So we're not gonna get splashed with water here, but we are gonna catch some people coming down. I could go for some muskrat moonshine or some critter elixir. That'd be a little fun day here on Splash Mountain. We got a ghost flume behind us. was a great way to start off our little day. I'm so excited. I went to go uh, film us going down the plummet, but I didn't get my camera out quick enough. So then when I did, I turned it on. I didn't grab my hat off fast enough. So the camera got soaking wet. So I'm sorry if the uh, picture after the drop is a little bit watery, but I had a lot of fun. And now it's time for Big Thunder Mountain because when we got in line, it said 55 minutes, but honestly, this line goes pretty quick. I would say maybe 35, maybe 40 minutes. And now it's our lightning lane time. I should have probably timed this a little bit better, but it was kind of like a spur of the moment. Like we we're gonna do the mountain challenge. And uh, I think we started our day off at 12 o'clock. Yeah, so when we first started walked in, we said 12 o'clock because we were heading on into Frontierland. So now it is one o'clock. It's time for Big Thunder Mountain. We got Splash Mountain done. And I'm interested to see what the total time it takes to actually do all four attractions. Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and Seven Doors Mine Train, if you count that as a mountain. I know that there's a lot of people that comment on the way that I say mountain. Uh, it's just kind of the way I grew up and that's how I say it. I don't know. Is it a regional accent? Like a northern accent? Because when I grew up, I, I grew up on Sport Mountain. So it's uh, just how I've always said it growing up. Does anybody else say that? I do sometimes try to pronounce the T only because I do know that some people always say like I say it wrong. So I try to say mountain, but it's just, I don't know, it comes out mountain. 
Let me know in the comments if you know of anyone that says it like that. I asked a couple people back home, and I'm like, hey, how do you say Mountain? And they say Mountain. And I'm like, Mountain? Mountain. And they kind of say it the same way too, but they also say a couple two tree. So I don't know. Maybe it's just from where I grew up. Now it's time for our lightning lane, and look at what my fancy magic band does. Hold on. Fancy! <laughs> Thank you. For some reason, it sounds like a Star Wars blaster. I don't know why, and it lights up red, but I'll do it again. The reason I say for some reason is because this is a Christmas magic band, so I don't know why it goes pew pew. Looks like we're gonna have the front row on UB Bold. Oh no, this is I Am Fearless, not UB Bold. I thought we were getting UB Bold. Best remove them. I'm bold. Also, look at those cobwebs down there. Cobwebs, I say. Reminds me of Drop Dead Fred. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, the front is really bumpy. I haven't rode front row in a while. Look at that shot at Cinderella Castle, though. I love it. Actually, all of Big Thunder Mountain, I love. Oh. And here we go. That was such a bumpy ride. <laughs> I was getting tossed around like a rag doll in here. Holy moly. I am fearless does not mess around, I'll tell you that. Ooh, very, very rumpy. That was a great ride on Big Thunder Mountain. And now it is 1.20, so uh, we have 40 minutes before our lightning lane for Space Mountain that we paid $7 for. No, that's not a part of Genie Plus, that is an individual purchase. I checked to see if Seven Doors Mine Train had a lightning lane that I could purchase for $10, but I don't see one until 6.30 tonight. So that's like five hours away, and I don't think there's a point in that. But we're gonna keep checking regardless. Since we have a couple minutes before our Space Mountain Lightning Lane, I want to try some more of the 50th anniversary treats that we haven't got to try yet. And right here they have Wendell's Bear Claw, which is a traditional bear claw dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with hazelnuts. They also have a Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew, and it comes with a special syrup, and they have a, seasonly, a seasonal offering for 50 cents extra. So maybe we'll try those two combinations, a bear claw and a cold brew. The seasonal offering is peppermint, so we're gonna have to add our own cream to it. We're gonna do three cream, maybe? We'll see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, three cream might do it. Maybe two and a half. Two and a half, and then one packet of sugar. There we go. Excellent. Look at how it's just kind of like floating there. It's very majestic. Oh no, I lost my sugar packet. Watch this, oh yeah. Oh, much too good. I had to bring my bear claw over to the Country Bear Jamboree to get that Instagram photo, but take a look at it. There it is. I can't wait to try it. They told me there's Nutella in the middle, so this is gonna be so, so good. I can also see all the hazelnuts on there. I'm excited. Of course, we're gonna have to break open the bear claw and see the Nutella, so here we go. I think I'm just gonna crack it right down the middle. It kind of looks like a croissant, but here we go. Oh, wow. Look at all that Nutella in there. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, here we go. Wendell would be proud. <laughs> Very good. I also like how 
they put all of the 50th anniversary snacks in this 50th anniversary wrapper. And if you guys could have seen the way that I just shot this video, I set my camera right here and I set <laughs> my bear claw right here and I was so worried that it might fell down. But look at now here comes the ducks. They think I got something for them. I ain't got nothing for ya. <laughs> I'm sorry, little fella. Like I said before, it's still amazing how many of the 50th anniversary treats that I have not got to try yet. Uh oh, we got some wind going there. I might have lost my bear claw. My bear claw. <laughs> But there are so many treats that I haven't got to try yet. Now I'm gonna try some Joffrey's cold brew. I do love the cold brew. I lost my bear claw. There it goes. I lost my bear claw. There it is, floating in the water. So sad. <laughs> Look at it. I feel so bad. The ducks are gonna get it now for sure. I'm sure the ducks are gonna love that. I don't even think they know that it's down there. Oh, there's a fish! A fish just grabbed it! Oh look, they're coming for it now! I wanna see if I can catch another fishy there. Oh, now there's a dragonfly on top of it. You see that? That is so crazy! All the wildlife are enjoying my bear claw, and I'm not. Anywho's, I'm sure <laughs> if I went back, they'd give me another bear claw, but I enjoyed the bites that I did have of it. It is very delicious. And it's definitely something you need to drink with because the Nutella and the chocolate definitely makes your mouth very dry. So cheers to the cold bro. I've lost a lot of things in Walt Disney World, but I think that's the uh, first time I've ever lost a bear claw in Magic Kingdom. Now I think we're gonna make our way over to Tomorrowland and get ready to ride Space Mountain. Like I said, we're making unbelievably like amazing time. I didn't think today would be like so quick and fast. Now it wouldn't be that way if we didn't buy all the individual lightning lanes and the Genie Plus. So technically today I spent $15, $10, $7, so almost $30 and I've gotten to ride, I'm gonna be able to ride four rides, four rides. I do have the option to actually ride more than four rides. If I pull up the app now, we can see what I have available for the Genie Plus. So as you can see, we could have made another Splash Mountain uh, Lightning Lane. Well, technically that would be our first one since we waited in the standby, and that would be for 510. Then we can also do the Barnstormer at 255, Buzz Lightyear at 315. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, Dumbo at 245. You know, I do love me some Dumbo. I mean, that would be fun, but honestly, the wait probably isn't that long. Or Haunted Mansion at 6 o'clock. So most of it's pretty spread out, actually. I don't see anything that I can really do right after Space Mountain. Maybe uh, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, that's at 350, though. Yeah, not too much. Peter Pan's flight, not till 720 tonight, though. I do have to say, I feel like I probably could have gone today without buying the Genie Plus service because the wait time for Space Mountain right now is 45 minutes. Before, Big Thunder Mountain was 35. I did wait in the standby for Splash Mountain and uh, I really don't have a certain time that I can go do Seven Doors Mine Train because it's not till much later on. So I could have probably done that you know what I mean? Without actually spending the money. And I probably would have only waited an extra hour in the whole day. Oh well, I guess it's kind of just a chance whether it's worth it or not, because you really can't predict the day. And uh, now we're gonna go touch the magic band reader with our fancy magic band again. Here we go, bing bing. That is so fun, isn't it? <laughs> As we're walking in the queue, I'm starting to think that that 45 minute sign was a lie. <laughs> because it shouldn't be this far back out if it's 45 minutes. Holy moly. I would pay $7 to skip that line any day of the week. That is probably about 70 minutes, I feel like. Lucky number 16. There we go. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Look at the load control panel there. Oh, we're leaving. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Ooh, it matches my mask. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
And we made it. And look who made it back with us. <laughs> And there we have it. That's the traditional mountain challenge right there. Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. And we did it in uh, under two hours, technically. Like, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? But some people say Seven Doors Mine Train is a part of the mountain challenge, because it is a mountain, technically. So we're gonna add that in right now, and we're gonna go see if we can hop in the standby line, or we're gonna keep checking the app to see maybe they might actually have a lightning lane, like, pop up. I don't know if they do that or not, but we'll keep checking. Well, the good news is the queue for Seven Doors Mine Train is all inside the attraction. Nothing on the outside yet, so that's actually a really, really good sign. Might be 40, maybe 60 minutes? I would think so, yeah, because it's not even back up all the way. Usually you're waiting in line like out here and it's wrapping around, but not today. One thing I do have to say about the Seven Doors Mine Train queue is it's got adequate like airflow. The fans are amazing and it keeps you cool while you wait. Almost there. There we go. We have officially done it. All four mountains and I would say the wait was probably about an hour. Like it was it was it was a long line, but it's much better than doing it now than waiting until 6:30 when I can get a lightning lane. Here it comes. Lucky number, row number one. <laughs> I love how it just starts off like that. Oh boy. And here we go. There we go. I love this ride, but it's just way too short. But my favorite part's coming up right here. We're gonna come up close with the witch. Oh boy, look at her. She's gonna give us an evil laugh. Terrifying. Well, I guess we take that as a win. I love riding Seven Doors Mine Train. I just feel like it goes by so fast. Like, it's not a very long ride, but it's very fun, it's very smooth, and it's great for families. It's just for me, like, willing to pay, like, cold hard cash for it, I feel like, you know, ah, I might wanna just skip it or find a time that it actually is a lower wait time. But today we got to do four roller coasters, well, four uh, mountain rides and three hours two of them we did standby two of them we paid for and uh yeah i had a lot of fun doing it so that's all that matters 
Now I guess I'll keep making my way down Main Street, USA. It was a fun day so far. Like I said, we got a lot accomplished. I got to try a new treat, ride some rides, and just enjoy the park itself, even on a crowded holiday-like time of the year. Like normally it's super busy here and people kind of tend to avoid coming out to the parks when it's super busy, but I had a great time today. I really did. And I guess with that, we're gonna call it a day here today. I mean, I had such a fun little day enjoying the Magic Kingdom, riding rides, making a video, like I said, doing all the things that I love in the place that makes me happy. And you know, you can't, you can't be upset about that. You can never be upset with being at Disney World. And I just love it every single time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. As we start making our way out though, Seems like we get to say goodbye to Goofy, Chip, and Dale, and Mickey, and Minnie, Donald, and Pluto. Look at them all up there on the train station. <laughs> this is like one of the best things that I've seen come out of this whole entire shutdown. Because like having this as you're actually exiting the park every single day is so amazing. You know what I mean? I really do love seeing them all and like giving a goodbye, a farewell. And it fits perfectly because once you go through those archways there, it always says, see you real soon. And nobody can read that without hearing Mickey's voice. So it's always nice seeing Mickey and then see you real soon. 